Hello friends, I am Jayesh Gandhi and today we are going to talk about flip-flops. First of all, we will talk about the functional aspect of the flip-flops and next we will talk a specific circuit which is called the RS flip-flop. So functionally a flip-flop is an electronic circuit which shows bistable operation. Let us take an example of a switch we use in our home to switch on and switch off the fans or lights. These switches show by stable operation. It has got two stable state. One is the on state, the other is the off state. By applying an external force, you can switch between the states. The same is the operation of a flip-flop. It is a by stable electronic switch which has got two stable states. One is the on state and the other is the off state. The on state in digital electronics is called a logic one and the off state in the digital electronics is called as logic zero. And the change of state can take place by giving an input electronic signal which will change the state from on to off for a digital circuit. So say for example this is a digital circuit it has got an output which is say for example zero you give an input and this can change state to one again give an input and it can change state to a zero. This is one type of a flip-flop. Before we go into the specifics of flip-flop, at this stage it is very important to clear out two points that the digital circuits are broadly classified into two groups. One is called the combinational logic circuit and the other is called the sequential logic circuit. The combinational logic circuit is a circuit which has a number of inputs and the output is only dependent on the current values of the inputs. So the output of the circuit is dependent on the present value of the inputs. While when we talk about a sequential logic circuit, it has got an output which is not only dependent on the current input values but it also depends on the past history of the circuit. The past history is given by the output values of the circuit. So whatever you put over here accordingly the circuit will behave. So depending on the current output value and the current input values the circuit behaves and that is called the sequential logic circuit. Further we want to talk about the types of flip-flop. The first one is called the RS flip. RS flip-flop stands for set and reset. These are two important terms. Set means the output is taken to a value 1. The reset means the output is taken to a value 0. The second type of flip-flop which we would like to talk is called the D flip-flop. It is also called the delay flip-flop or it is called the D latch. It is extensively used to make or build the memories. The third type of flip-flop is called the JK flip-flop and that has got applications ranging from memory to counter and lastly we have a T flip-flop which is a modified JK flip-flop and it has got applications in counters. Let us go ahead with some terminologies used in flip-flop. We have already talked about the set that is the output is taken to a value 1, the reset output is taken to a value 0 and here we have an output which is called no change NC. This is a very important condition because once we say that the flip-flop is in a no change mode that means a 1 or 0 which is latched inside the flip-flop is memorized unless you change the state. So that leads to a very important application of flip-flop to memory. Now here we go into details of RS flip-flop. We have a circuit of RS flip-flop. It is built with two NOR gate. For our convenience we have the NOR gate truth table. Just as a part of revision we will say that the NOR gate output is 1 only when the both the inputs are 0. Otherwise the output is 0. Now the circuit shows a very interesting connection that the output of one gate drives the input of the other gate. In both the cases the output drives the input of the other gate and this make the output of the two NOR gate complement of each other. So if this is 1 then sorry if this is 0 then this is 1 and vice versa if it the Q output is 1 then the Q bar output is 0. This is a stable state. Q is 0 and Q bar is 1 is a stable state. The other sta stable state is 
q is 1 and q bar is 0. Now say for example, we want to set the circuit. Setting the circuit means making the q output as 1. For that, I have to pass a set signal. So that I will make 1. The reset I will make 0. We want to set the flip-flop and therefore we are passing a set signal. So set is 1. This output is 0 which drives this input. So I will write down a 0 over here. So 1, 0. The output is 0. So this will change state to 0. This 0 goes over here. So 0, 0. The output is 1. So this will also change state. So from stable state 0, 1, the flip-flop is switched into another stable state that is 1, 0 and the flip-flop is set. So let us change the color. This was set, this was reset, this was 0 and now I want to pass a reset signal. So I will make this 1 and make this 0, this 1 and this 0 over here. So that comes over here and this becomes 0 and consequently this becomes 1. So the flip flop is reset. In the previous case the flip flop was set, now it is reset. If both the inputs are 0, no reset signal is passed, no set signal is passed and therefore the flip flop will remain in the state which it is. So if it is 0, 1, it will stay in the state if both the inputs are 0, 0, then it will not change the state. No input is 1 and therefore there is no change. So it goes into no change condition. Now let us come to the last condition and that is both the inputs are made 1, meaning that I am giving a reset signal and a set signal simultaneously. Now when this occurs, the flip flop does not know what to do whether to go into a reset state or a set state and therefore the output of such a input condition would be unpredictable. It is unpredictable and that is why we say that this particular condition is not allowed. The condition is for forbidden. Sometimes it is also called as the race condition. So when you remove these inputs and give a zero no change then the flip flop will either go into the reset state or the set state. This makes this RS flip flop less useful. It is not useful for any application but of course it is a stepping stone for the understanding of the other useful flip flop circuit. So that is all we want to discuss in this tutorial. If you like the tutorial give a thumbs up. Thank you very much.